Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for September. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I've been teetering on whether to do this reading now or last or whenever. Um, and I didn't, I, you know, just been sitting here looking at the cards, wondering if I should do this now or not. And, um contemplating and I saw the Knight of Wands which encouraged me to do the reading now so act now think later act now think later just get moving there's no need to stick around there's no need to stick around and wait might as well get going right right might as well follow your passion right might as well Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring your romance. Yeah. Think positive. Think positive. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Interesting. Addictions. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Addiction to negative thinking? <laughs> that could be the case. Addiction to what? <laughs> okay, so I definitely stopped at the right time. All right, but we have you not being grounded not seeing the reality of a situation you may be all over the place you may be a little things may be a little chaotic you may not know if you are coming or going i think things are a little overwhelming right now i do Okay, so these are both you. Both of them. The first two cards. I definitely stopped at the right time. There's no doubt about it, okay? This, this is clear, clear as mud. You are lacking faith. You are lacking trust. You are not being very responsible at this time. You may be making decisions that are not practical. And that could be because you have lost faith. Maybe in yourself. Uh. Oh, a golden opportunity? Judgment? This is an awakening. There's an opportunity somewhere that you manifested. You've manifested something solid and stable. But things are a little crazy. There's a lack of closure. You may be feeling lost. You may be not listening to your inner guide at this time. This 
six of swords needing to move on from something. Oh. Justice. Justice is about. Do we have karma? 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 Oh boy. You're dealing with a karmic situation. A karmic lesson. And the karmic lesson has not been learned yet. Wonderful. Fantastic. So it appears that you may be going through some sort of midlife crisis. You're probably feeling lonely. And you may be trying to move on from something. You're trying to release. Destiny is helping you out in some way with that Wheel of Fortune upright. They're bringing you something. They're bringing you an opportunity. If you could close something out. Step over that finish line. Believe in yourself and have faith. That the golden opportunity is coming. Huh. But you may be. Not seeing the reality of this situation. That's what this is. I feel as though. You know. There is. A lack of awareness. In regards to. what you really want about the decision that you need to make about your there's a lack of awareness of what the what the destiny has in store I'd like to know truly I would it appears that wish fulfillment is coming Justice is going to be served. And this is positive karma. Positive. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. There's going to be an epiphany that wakes you up and helps you to move on. Interesting. Oh. <sighs> September. Now, if this doesn't resonate right now, remember, we have a whole month of in September. It's not just one day or one week, okay? I can see that you guys are probably, you may feel a little, or you may be being a little too even arrogant, okay? Because this is arrogant. So keep that in mind. Try not to get a chip on your shoulder. Um, it feels as though there's one cycle that needs to end. It needs to complete. Because it's left you feeling lost and empty. And if you could step outside of this blockage it's almost like you're blocking it from from happening you know this these are all majors okay these are all majors this is a major this is a major this, there's a lot of majors here the strong cards okay very strong energy whatever is happening is is major it's a major change you guys are being given a major new opportunity that you've manifested that is changing your course or, or, or pushing you to change your course if you could I mean these are both like Jesus consciousness they are let go and let God oh. let go and let God
And maybe that's your awakening. Maybe that's your wake up call to just release and forgive and move on and let justice, that karma, take care of it. And when you let go, that's when good luck and good fortune is going to come into your life. They're going to bring you wish fulfillment. So anyway, something good is coming with this Wheel of Fortune. Something really good. This is good luck, good fortune. Something good. Destined. Something is bringing you something that you can take to the bank. But you have to stay optimistic. You guys are losing faith. Capricorn, Taurus, Capricorn. This is restoring control. This is about freeing yourself from some codependent situation. And you know, some of you have been hanging on to something because that's what you know, and that's where codependency comes up. It's what you were used to. To break an addiction, you have to literally break it. And this is breaking the addiction. And it could be even to a person that you were once committed to. This is freeing yourself from that bond, breaking that chain. And when you break that chain, that's when the wheel, the wheel of fortune brings you something better. The wheel of fortune is also a card of purpose. Everything happens for a reason. It feels like right now things are really chaotic and unbalanced. You really don't know if you're coming or going. And, you know, what's happening is trying to bring balance back to your life. Something is going to change, which, which will bring back balance after things have been unbalanced and a little bit crazy. And they could have been crazy because of some addictions. And it feels as though you've been, you've been discontent and you've been getting bored and you've been lonely. And it feels as though this discontent is, is not really serving you. So you are probably overthinking. You're, you are. You're overthinking um, love. You know, why? How come? You know, those kinds of things. But that's only hurting yourself. And whoever that you are thinking about, they they aren't they they were hurting you. They didn't have your best interests in, at, at heart. This person brought you down. This person was probably verbally or mentally or even physically abusive. Whoever that or emotionally abusive. Whoever it is that is holding you back, that you haven't completely closed that door from. Whatever it is, was hurting you. Is still hurting you. And you're still thinking about it. But. Now I've covered up one of the cups. There's a new opportunity for love here. There's a new opportunity. It's a time to celebrate. Let your friends help you. There's still. You go out with your friends. You go dating. You start dating. You put yourself out. You Now I've covered up who you're thinking about. And there's still a new opportunity. And I didn't even plan that. I just noticed it. Okay. There's an opportunity for love. The two of cups. Now this love that gets pushed aside and happiness comes back 
So there's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for growth. As you heal, perhaps there's someone that comes into your life and helps you heal. Ooh. But there's a contract that is ending. There's no more compatibility. There's too many arguments. Too much indecision. And somebody's walking away. Leaving that emotional hurt behind. Waking up. Waking up. There could be a third party situation with a Leo. Therefore, this contract is ending. Could be a third party situation with anybody. And a contract is ending, or it has ended. In the long run, it's going to bring you happiness. But you're indecisive and you have to make a complex decision. Do you continue to hang on to this illusion? Or do you do the right thing for yourself? Do you make it final? Do you finally make a decision? Or do you keep holding on? You've given it your all. Nines are a sign that it is time to move on. from something that was toxic, it was an illusion, there was no commitment, and now it's time for you to have a relationship. Perhaps there is an opportunity for a new love that could make you very happy, something that you've manifested. But you have to have the strength to walk away from something that is not compatible, for real. You need to release the past, you need to find the strength to do so. The courage, the confidence, to restrain yourself from holding on. You were dealing with a player, somebody that didn't have integrity, somebody that had a wandering eye and had no plans to offer you anything solid. That's who you were dealing with. And you're holding on and it's getting old. It's time for it to end. It's time for you to release. It's time for you to stop resisting. It's time for this transition to, t to take place. You need to find the strength to allow a new beginning. You have to stand up for what you want. You have to stand, you have to defend yourself. You have to put yourself back on top. You need to regain the focus and the concentration that's been lost. It's like you were dealing with somebody who stole your energy. And that's not love anyway. That's not love. It's not love.
I feel like you guys were dealing with a narcissist and I don't like to use the word, but that's what it looks like to me. And they had so much control over you that it caused you to be dependent on their love. And now you have to free yourself from that. You have to find the strength and the courage to defend yourself and put yourself back on top. You take control. Take your control back from this person. You were dealing with a manipulator, a manipulator, somebody that was very, very, very cunning, probably very, very sly. Somebody that had a hidden agenda. And there's no future there. There's no future. Oh God, could be King of Cups. Somebody that is closed off, emotionally cold hearted and withdrawn. You're dealing with a narcissist, okay? There's no doubt. You were dealing with a narcissist for the woman, for the Taurus woman. You were dealing with a narcissist. The Taurus man, I don't know. This is for the Taurus woman right here. <coughs> Maybe for da Taurus man you were dealing with a narcissist, but I don't see that. I feel as though this is this that particular statement was for the Taurus woman. Cause see these men right here. These are all men. So for the Taurus woman, you were dealing with a narcissist, somebody that was very controlling, manipulative, and not open hearted. And now you, you're still thinking about going back. I can see that. Because that's what a narcissist does. They have so much control over you that it's hard to free yourself. It's hard to break those chains. Because it's it, it has taken over. So anyway, I feel as though right now with this two of wands, you have this fear of change. Fear of the unknown. And that's why this codependency card is here. Stay optimistic. There's a better opportunity for you. Something that is solid and stable. But it's time for you to cut. Cut. This bastard out of your life. I see things clearly. I accept the truth. And I'm and I'm I'm cutting you out. Clear as mud. It's time to put yourself first. It's time to defend yourself. It's time to be assertive and see things through a new perspective and see things as they clearly are. You're about to get a major wake up call. And that major wake up call is going to bring you a passionate new beginning elsewhere. A new partner, a new partner, a new partner right here. Once you get the clarity and you cut out the, you know what, you will receive a new partner. One, one, one. Something that you are manifesting as we speak. Your thoughts become things. Ones are also spiritual awakening. I set it up here. You guys are going to get some sort of awakening or major epiphany that allows you to cut somebody out. And accept a new offer. I mean, these are, these are, this is beautiful. I mean, one, 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 they're all upright. This is, these are opportunities being given to you from above. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card, it is destiny. It is God, it is heaven, it is the universe saying, here is your reward for this struggle. 
for cutting this out, for finding the strength to defend yourself and put yourself out back on top and for not going back, for not hanging on. They are giving you a reward. These are gifts from above, all three of them. Because you open your eyes. And you let go of something that is not happy. No commitment. You free yourself from being in limbo. You stop sacrificing yourself and you see things through the real perspective. So I feel like this is a month of you receiving some sort of solid, passionate, honest, genuine offer from somebody new. And this one is reversed. You have all four of them. And you have the magician. So you have, we have five ones here. Whatever you've been hanging on to, that's not love. It's not love. If they are not communicating with you, if they are not reciprocating, if they are not committed, if it's a third party situation, if they don't see your worth, if they're bullying you, if they're emotionally or verbally or mentally abusing you, if they're narcissistic, that's not love. And when you end that contract, destiny is bringing you something much, 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 much better. So get prepared. It's going to be hot. And passionate and there's room for growth and it could be something that is long-term and solid stable and it's something you've been manifesting as you've been releasing because you know releasing is an ongoing process right so I feel like this is a month of you receiving you know having a change of course where destiny brings you good fortune, a reward. So be prepared. In the meantime, stay optimistic, positive thinking, and faith. You've lost some faith. Get it back, okay? Just do your best to get it back. And slow down, okay? Just slow down. I'm telling you from experience, okay? Things are a little chaotic right now. I can tell you that right now. So maybe you just need to um, slow down. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Addiction to the past. Thank you, Lord. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That's all I can say. I can't control myself. You guys know that I can't. Um, transformation. You are going through a transformation. You are with all these ones, the wheel and the justice card. You are going through a transformation. There's no doubt. None. You are definitely going through an awakening as well. Whew. You are in a time of huge transformation. Old beliefs, ideas, and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life are dropping away, replaced by incredible vitality and new pathways. Soon you, are exper you will be experiencing the world in a fresh new way. The journey transforms the traveler. When the traveler arrives at the destination,
The traveler is no longer the same person who started out. Even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life, don't be concerned. This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. Like the phoenix that arises majestically from the ashes, a big change in your life is at hand. Don't hold on to the old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Be willing to see the world with fresh new eyes. Changes are afoot, and it's all so very good. Oh, thank you, Lord. So, yeah, there's a, there's a change on the horizon, and it is a damn good one. Thank you, Lord.